my chapter two, season five review. Okay, I did talk about a lot. This is probably gonna be like a 20 minute video, probably less. But in today's video, I'm going to be talking about chapter two, season five. The season we all know as chaotic, when that date that brings hand cannon and then removes it. That's just my joke. But seriously, they say chaotic. The only chaotic thing is that there's 85 things in the shop tonight. Yes, I counted, including bundles, but that's like 77. Think about it. Just think about that. That is so many cosmetics. Actually, no, 88. I didn't know that I died. In, oh, sorry, no, 86. Anyways, this shop is insane. Obviously, superheroes count it all, but I'm not here to talk about that now. I'll do that maybe in years from now. I am shop reviews if that ever comes back. Also, tell me if you're an OG and if you remember that. Anyways, I'm just going to get into the video. So, chapter 2, season 5. Like, this season was supposed to be chaotic, but it wasn't very chaotic. Now, there are some positives and some negatives, which I'll go over after this. I'm just going to look up all the skins. Okay, so first off, here we have the Mandalorian. He comes like, let's see, what does that do? It adds a piece of armor. Cool, I guess. Another piece of armor. Right thigh. Yeah, there was barely a difference. Right thigh, isn't that this one? Yeah. I know that's this one. How, how did they do this? Okay, that's barely a difference. I'm going to add that. And torso. Oh, no, I'm on left arm, blah, blah, blah. Torso. Okay, that's actually a good difference, but you can't really see it. I think I prefer this one because I just like that better. The helmet. There is literally a no difference. This one's a little smaller, so that's why I have it on. And then clothing. What does this mean? Oh, yeah. Um, this looks like he's getting strangled. Overall, this skin is just um, a skin that I would never use. I used it sometimes, but I can't use it with the armor. Then we have Menace. So he has Menace, Challenger Menace. Oh, wait. I have to turn it because that's there. Menace, Challenger Menace with a little more armor. Menace Flame. Menace Challenger Flame, which is Flame and that, which is barely a difference. Undefeated Menace and Undefeated Menace Flame. This Undefeated Menace Flame is my favorite, though. Then we have Mask, Light Helmet, No Plume, Heavy Helmet, No Plume, Light Helmet Plume, and Heavy Helmet Plume. Again, never use it because it's huge and bulky. Then we have the Sapphire Menace. And then the Topaz Menace. I'll show you the Zero Point Menace later on. So then next we have this Predator. He comes with a built-in emote to take off his mask. Don't really care for the skin. I'd give Mandalorian a 6 of 10. Menace a... Uh, no, Mandalorian a 5. Menace a 6. And Predator a 3. Okay, I want to do Battle Pass first. Then next thing in the Battle Pass I guess I have in this order, Condor. It comes with the Condor style, the Wrath Condor, Sapphire Condor, and Topaz Condor. A skin that reminds me a lot of Eternal Voyager and Dark Vanguard. Just a redone version of it, and I really like it. Really like it. Great skin, 7 of 10. No, yeah, 7. I could use it more, but I don't. Then we have Lexa with her base Lexa style. Then the Infiltrator Lexa and the Warstrike Lexa. Her and Wrath have built-in emotes that change their forms. I'm not a fan of Wrath's, but Lexa is pretty sick. The only style I'm actually using in the game currently is the Warstrike Lexa. And then, next in the battle pass, I have Man Cake. It comes with regular Man Cake, Lonesome Hero Man Cake, Dark Deeds Man Cake, The Cake With No Name, Sapphire Man Cake, Topaz Man Cake, and Zero Point Man Cake. Skin that I only would use, um, Zero Point, Topaz, not, I don't, and Zero Point. Sapphire is just not for me, and the other styles don't do the justice this guy deserves. 
And then we have Maeve. So Maeve has reactive hair when you aim in, as you can kind of see. And then she also has a reactive tail when you swim. Both, I have none. So in her base style is Maeve, and then Unstoppable, oh, I have to show you, Unstoppable Maeve with a little more armor, Shield Breaker Maeve, Sapphire Maeve, Topaz Maeve, and Zero Point Maeve. All good, all together, I give it a 6 of 10. Also, I missed Lexa, sorry. I'm going to give her an 8 of 10. I'm also going to give Mankey because of his second two styles, last two, a 7 of 10, out of 10, if you want to say it like that. Then we have the Reese Base, and then we have the Nebula Racer and Galactic Ranger Reese. All these styles I hate for Reese. I don't like her short hair, and she has hair clipped up on her arm. Not a fan. Then we have Sapphire Reese, probably my second favorite for Reese. Then we have Topaz. I do not like Topaz Reese whatsoever. Then we have my favorite style for Reese and the last one, the Zero Point. Altogether, this style is amazing in game. Just because of style, it's getting a 7 of 10. Actually, Maeve got a 6, I think. I'm going to give Maeve 6 and I'm giving Reese 6. Great, but not on that level. Okay, so then we're going to go into item shop skins I own and the Fortnite crew, which I'm going to do first. Galaxia is not on there, which I will show her in a minute, but the first one I crew, I guess, beside Galaxia, which I'll show in a moment, is the Green Arrow. Very hated by the community. Not a fan favorite. And then the next skin we have here is the V skin. Arctic default style and the Arctic style. Yeah, I love V. She's part of my favorite Fortnite crew skin. Then we have the Llama Bro skin, which no one's complaining or loving. I think they think it's all right. No more gray, but I think they think it's middle of the road. But I don't think it's Fortnite cream material, but it's definitely better than Green Arrow, and I have to redo that. Anyways, so actually I might as well just show you Galaxia. This is Galaxia. Um, yeah, that's her. She was the first Fortnite crew skin that came with the Battle Pass when that came out. Okay, so I'm looking at chapter two. Season one. Oops. I know it's just taking a while. So right now I might as well say the new locations. I'm gonna do this quickly. First off, we got Hunt. I'm gonna say the most popular and well received well received is Hunter's Haven. Hunter's Haven is actually a good drop spot. It's unique too. It's where all the hunters like uh, material equipment are. And then I'm just going to go over the Salty Towers. A worse Salty Springs and a worse Tilted Towers. Would have been better if they had Salty Springs stays the same and put Tilted Towers around put towers around it. And then we got Salty Stronghold. No one goes there and Predator is there. A disappointment. And, the, and then another disappointment is Colossal Coliseum. Again, not very well received. Because it's supposed to, I think Epic Games intended it to be an arena area, but it never turned out like that. Alright, so then, starting with item shop skins I own, and yes, I don't know all of them, but this is my personal favorites. The first one I have is the laser beam. You can do laser beam, relax beam, laser beam helmet, and relax beam hat. Together, I think the first base style is the best, but yeah, that's what I think of laser beam. Then we have the bright storm bomber. I collect all the bombers, so I had to get this one. Probably one of my least favorite bombers, if not my least. I don't know, the hairstyle kind of weirds me out. The clothing just doesn't seem like a bright bomber. Also, the original hair, like from Reddit Concept, was way better than this one. Oh my gosh, how long has it been blurry for? I feel so sorry. Then we have the Royalty Skin, which is like the Challenge Derby, Derby Dynamo and Barracuda Assassin Pack. I cannot talk. She has a default style, and then she has a reactive getting more gold style. Then next up, we have two free skins. I'm going to go over. The first one is Snowmando. He's bulky, and I'd say these two free skins are definitely better than the last, but I would say the other one's better. Then the other free skin is Frost Squad. For a free skin, I'm really surprised how good it is. Okay, then for the first skin, like first soccer skin, the only soccer skin I have, but the, for the first 
I don't know how to say it. For the first type of sapper skin that I that doesn't have numbers, we have the Tiki Tackler, and then there's some other ones, you know, Point Patroller, Dirt Dominator, and Galactic or Blast Off, one of them. I don't know, some of these styles exist. That's what I'm saying when I like think of these skins. Like I don't use it that much. I'd rather use an old soccer skin. Then we have Bandwidth with her helmet style. This is one of the Tron skins that are set never to come back. And that's why I might be copping Chum Lee. Alright, then we have Snowbell with her default style, blue style, and mint style. Snowbell is a skin that I think could have been executed just a tad bit better if they gave it a unique style along with these. Then it would say it would be my top five, or not top 15 favorites of all time, but definitely top five of the season, including Battle Pass. And then we have Gingerbread Raider. Again, another Christmas skin that I really enjoy. Then finally, we have the starter pack for the season, the Diamond Diva. And I think this skin's pretty cool. Thank you. So I'm going to equip Galaxia just for showcase. And I know I did not forget. So for zero point Condor, I do not have him. He has the rat style. Where he, no, not rat. The um, Vengeful Wish where he turns into like the monster alien thing. And then we have zero point Menace. A nice Menace, but I'm never going to be able to get it. Okay. So, now I'm going to talk about the loot pool. Airs, I just don't like it. I hate the Evy. Please bring back the burst. Okay. And then the second thing is the shotguns. Why did you have to change it so much? But the weird thing is, I love the new shotgun meta. And it was always a dense pump coming back. And I was like, oh, wait, I want to be with it because I don't like this. Please keep it the same. I know Epic's bound to um, ban the attack and bring the le um, and to bring the pump back. But, and I know Dragon's Breath's probably removed and same with Lever Action. And probably Charge. I just don't want him to change it again. Alrighty, next up for the um, loop pool, we have the SMG, the submachine gun. The submachine gun sprays people, and there's two, the suppressed SMG and the regular SMG. I think tactical SMG and the regular SMG should be it, because the suppressed one isn't even that great anymore. All right, then we have snipers. Nothing really special here. I'm just going to move past it. Then explosives, again, no, wa no rocket launchers, except from Splode, I think, I'm sure, unless any anything supply drops. And, yeah, then we have pistols as the final one. Pistol pool, same. There's, like, one pistol. Well, actually, I lied. There were two pistols in rotation. And I met, better mention the rapid fire. They're going to remove it. I know that for a fact. But I would love for it to stay with the other two. It gives a lot of variety for the SMGs. But the flintlock pistol and the hand cannon were both added for a week, then removed. I did not like that, but I know it was because of this zero point was stabilizing quicker and quicker. And yeah, that's pretty much it for that. And then I'm gonna quickly talk about gameplay. I think that this season was kind of a drag on. It lasted a hundred and five days around that. Hundred and eight, something like that. And yeah, just not a fan. But then we have exotic weapons. We have two minutes. Exotics are okay. They could have been better if exotic weapons, like the discount screen isn't here anymore. This screen is, which is very important for next season, which I'm doing predictions in a moment after new item shop. But exotics are really cool. Gold system is, currency system is really cool. I just wish that like at the beginning of the season, there were 600 and then the discount lasted three weeks. I've just been buying, um, like, um, I forgot what's it called. Um, upgrades, but there's literally no point to go because it's getting removed next season. All right, quickly before new item shop, I want to talk. I'm gonna do this on video. I'm gonna talk about competitive. I got the contender league. Not I didn't play that much during the season. 
probably I'm going to play because it's a preseason uh, for Arena. But Arena this season was actually probably the best game mode because it was n nice. Like, it felt rewarding to play because when you got a kill, it was not a bot. Which in real lobbies, bots were decreased and in some lobbies, they were increased. Okay, well, I just see St. Patrick say skins. So I'm going to quickly check in the shop. If it'll ever load. But yeah, competitive, they're pretty good. Oh my gosh, this shop is packed. Really? The night before a season though? Oh, when's Trinity Trooper coming out? Oh, I thought that one would be out. I'm just looking through this. No new St. Patrick's Day skins. Kind of surprised. Eh. It's an item shop. Is this new? No. Alright, chance. Okay. Got a little distracted. Anyways, I'm gonna just try to finish this up as quickly as I can. Winner's Umbrella, not the best. And I think the final thing I wanna look at at the season was, was it better than the previous ones? This season could have been improved, but also not. It could have been worse. It could have been improved by having more updates, more chaos, as the direct, or one of the directors said. It could have been improved like that. Way too many collabs. I got sick of the collabs after we got Kratos. I mean, no, after we got, like, um, The Walking Dead. Or even a little after. Like, what's one after? I guess Sarah Connor. I was like, is this done? And then we got this guy. Oh, my gosh. Did they remove one? I feel like one's gone. And the Tron. And there's, I feel like, I got a one that's gone. Okay. And then I think the thing that could have been worse is if they just didn't do any map changes like I know the beginning I know since the beginning barely any map changes have been done but at least it's better than I mean like at least at the beginning of the season we got four new map changes also I want to mention NPCs here that is really cool I'm trying to get the oh yeah collection book I think that is really cool with NPCs, but two of them are ne have never been entered into the game. So I'm wondering if our collection book is going to grow off last season, or it's going to reset like the fishing book always does every season. And yeah, I think that's it for the video. That is my review. If I had to place it better than a season, I'm not getting any nostalgia for Chapter 2 Season 4, which is very weird. Um, yeah, I wasn't the biggest fan. Oh, wait, predictions. Yes, one final thing. Prediction for the season, next season, apocalyptic, apocalyptic theme. And possibly. You know what? I know where he's standing now. He's standing at that place near Coral Castle, looking towards Pleasant Park. I see the mountains. I see the water. Okay, I understand that. Except the battle bus is crashing to the top right. So I think it's going to be an apocalyptic season. I think this season, I didn't write this down, is probably better than... You know what, what's this season? Mm. Better than season nine, but worse than season seven. No, no. Worse than chapter two, season three. Yeah, no. I have to think. Season, I guess it was really honest opinion, worse than season seven of Fortnite. And yes, that's it for the video. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for Chapter 2 Season 6 Battle Pass Review. And yeah, I'll see you guys then.